Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm going to go and watch Fleetwood Town as they take on Bolton Wanderers in League One, but with a bit of a twist. Now this is all thanks to the media guys at Fleetwood Town, so huge thanks to them for allowing this video to happen. But today I'm doing something super exciting. I am going behind the scenes on an EFL match day at Fleetwood Town, showing you guys all the preparations that go into um, a game at Fleetwood, you know, the uh, from the dressing room and the warm-ups and all that kind of thing, uh, giving you guys a great insight into um, how a match day works at an EFL club. Can't wait to bring it to you guys. It should be a great day, something I've wanted to do for a while, and it should be a great game as well. Fleetwood, they are currently sat in 16th in the league on 22 points, but that doesn't tell the full story of their season so far. From what I've seen, they've been playing some great stuff under Scott Brown, getting some really good results as well, especially against teams uh, further up the table than them. Uh, they just need to start turning a lot of the draws that they've been getting into wins, and they'll be right up there in the league this season. Bolton, on the other hand, they're currently sat in 7th place on 28 points and a win for them would see them go up into the playoff places um, if results around them go their way as well. So yeah, it should be a great game. It should be a great atmosphere as well. I know the lads behind the goal at Fleetwood, um, they make some great noise during the game. Hopefully I can capture that well for you guys. And also, um, Bolton have sold out their allocation today. So it should be a great atmosphere from the away end. Like I said... Hopefully, I can capture it all well for you guys and show you um, behind the scenes at an EFL club. And it's a great video for you guys to watch and uh, really insightful and all that. But yeah, really looking forward to it, as you can tell. And I will see you when I get down to Highbury. Okay, so I'm here with Ben. Uh, your channel is uh, COD Vlogs as well. Very successful Fleetwood channel. And uh, obviously, you cover League One as well. First of all, how are you doing today? Very good. Looking forward to the game against a good Bolton side. Yep. It should be a good game. Uh, two kind of tough sides at this level, so it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting game because they don't concede many, don't score many, like ourselves, like yeah. a draw them. Um, obviously, been disappointing last few weeks. Um, they only scored I think six goals away from home, which is disappointing from their point of view. But they only conceded seven, so it's going to be a, a very tight game. Yeah, Fleetwood's a draw specialist this yeah. season. How do you see this one ending then in terms of a score? Nil nil, if I'm honest with you, mate. Really? I, think, I just kind of think they're very hard to break down. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope there is goals, I hope there's a little bit of flair to the game because they're the best types of games in this level. But big game, if we'd won it, I'd be absolutely buzzing. If we lose it, disappointed, but you know, there's no shame in losing just good teams like Bolton. Well, hopefully, we get lots of goals for our content more than anything because it makes it more yeah. entertaining. But good to chat to you. Do you want to shout out your channel as well? Yeah, just cause Fox to go over all over the country with Fleetwood and obviously cover League One in general and on the road to 10,000 subscribers and meet people like yourselves as well <laughs> along the way. Hopefully, um, yeah, you can get over to 10,000 subscribers and yeah, enjoy the game today. Hopefully it should be a good one. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Okay, so I've got my high vis, media pass as well. Let's head inside and uh, show you around.
Half time, 1 0 Fleetwood. Talk to the sack. Okay, so half time, and it's currently Fleetwood 1, Bolton Wanderers 0. Back here with Ben. What have you made of that first half? Good half. They've looked pretty anything, which I think is always the main thing. I think they've had maybe one opportunity, but since I go, I'm not created anything, just like I just said. But again, it's a really good goal by Mendes Gomez. It's really devastating, really, the way he cuts back in right foot bang into the goal and since then it's been kind of a, a dull game really yeah. but I think they've made it that way but we've been in the situation a couple of times in the previous weeks I mentioned Oxford, I mentioned Mr Rovers and you saw about this next 25 30 minutes riding the storm and going through difficult moments yeah it feels like Bolton have got forward a few times they haven't really had much in the way of chances because you've frustrated them but it's about keeping that and obviously Bolton have got quality they'll look to to, uh, to come back into it, but it's just about keeping the shape and frustrating them for the rest of the game. Yeah, exactly. If you can not let them have opportunities, you know, we'll be okay. But it's going to be a tough game. I expect them to have two or three at least, but I expect us to have two or three as well. And I think there's going to be another goal in the game. I'm not sure who, though. Yeah, you said nil-nil at the start. Obviously, that predictions out the window. Thankfully, I guess. How do you see this one ending now? I'll go for nil-nil again in the second half and win one-nil. <laughs> I always say I love one-nil and winning one-nil is the best goal I can get. It's a great score and you take but, it. But for me, it, it rattles the heartstrings, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, hopefully there's more goals from a uh, Fleetwood perspective considering they're shooting towards us in the second half, but hopefully it's a crack. It. See you on the other side at full time. Okay, so in the second half, my camera inexplicably decided not to pick up any sound, which is really annoying. But anyway, Fleetwood had a huge chance to double their lead about halfway through the second half with Sean Rooney firing a shot off the post. Bolton then began to pile on the pressure and found the equaliser through Connor Bradley in the 85th minute. Then, in the fifth minute of added time, Dapo Affelion stroked home the winner, breaking Fleetwood Hearts and sending the Bolton fans into pandemonium. Right, now cut to past Robbie to outro the video and basically just say the same thing I have now to analyse the game. Okay, so back in the car now after the game and I've left it a while before speaking to you guys just to sort of let the dust settle after what was a crazy end to that game. Um, Fleetwood losing the game 2-1 right at the end. Both of the goals to win it for Bolton coming after the 85th minute. Just heartbreaking. Absolute sickener right at the end. Um, but I thought Fleetwood did really well. You know, first half uh, going into half-time winning and then in the second half... I thought they did pretty well for the first sort of 20 minutes of the second half. Defensively resolute, um, keeping Bolton at bay relatively well. And I thought they were going to grind out the win, but Bolton really ramped up the pressure and, um, and found that equalising goal after plenty and plenty of chances um, to equalise before that. You know, they found the equaliser on the 85th minute. And from that point on, everyone around me could sort of sense that the winner was going to come but it didn't make it any less sickening when it did. But, you know, that's football. Heartbreak for Fleetwood, but jubilation for Bolton fans who will go home the much happier set of fans and team. But, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you're a Fleetwood fan or a Bolton fan who's come over to the channel to watch this video. A huge thanks as well, once again, to the Fleetwood Media guys for allowing me to do this behind the scenes vlog today. I've really enjoyed it. I um, hope you guys have too, to get that sort of behind the scenes access and insight into uh, an EFL match day. It's been pretty cool despite the results. But yeah, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one.